It's showtime. the d rock 100 and welcome back to more oh, oh come on alpha sapphire last time we met up with a very strange Oren who went into a lot of details about secret bases but we finally made it here to fall over town yay this time I do a little bit of some exploring around a little bit since we didn't really get a chance to do a lot of that what about what it looked like long long ago then the fossil maniac at the edge of town will know in the field of Palabra, we plant seedlings of hardly trees that thrive in volcanic ash. Oh, I see. That's how you attract wild Pokemon. I don't need this anymore. Give it a try if you like. This is a honey. Yeah, very interesting item. Hey, you! Anyway. Come into the Pokemart. We'll check some. Finally, we can buy some really good balls. We have quick balls here that I think have a times four catch rate. Yeah, times four. We're gonna want to stock up on these. I think I'll go with. Actually, you know what? Since I'm not recording during the day, you know what? I'll still go ahead and buy some more dust balls. There will be a couple of times that when I will be doing some recordings during in the night time because there are a few things that we can only do during the night. So I'll make some exceptions on that later on. I have some items I want to quickly sell on the way. Oh hey, it's a nugget. I got two nuggets from a possible nugget builder. Alright, we also had dive balls that we can now get as well. Those, uh, I believe, have a catch time rate of 3 when you go up against Pokemon and through surfing. Okay. This is Professor Cosmo's place. We come up here. It's a cutting edge telescope. Seems to be focused on some particular sector of space. You know what? I'm just gonna come out and say this. I love telescopes! Back when I was a kid, I used to really, really look more into looking to see what was going on up in space. I mean, I, I no longer have a telescope myself, Ugh. but I just love looking out in the space, like getting a good look at the moon. I was able to see Jupiter and Saturn. Just, oh, it's just a lot of good memories. <laughs> Professor and I did our best at the contest, and now for some reason, I feel like I have a lot more fans. Contest Spectaculars are held in four different contest halls all over Hoenn. You join the Contest Spectacular in any of them. I always do go to Little Cove, but today, I feel like a change of pace. What's that? Is it, it is this machine next to me that you're interested in? Alright! This is where we can get the Berry Blender! I just love making Poké Blocks. Back in the old days, it used to take four of us to take a Poké Block with this machine! That is not no longer the case! Watch my Lissy and Riley are just. was just now so amazing! Hey, you were really uh, impressed too, right? That's what you call a spectacular talent. Pokemon show off their talents until the excitement in the hall is at its peak. And then they learn here can't be held back and comes bursting with a spectacular talent. That really was amazing, lovely. I'll give it a try too next time. Hmm. Give my excitement to myself until yesterday, but my Pokemon and I weren't quite good enough today. Cross my eyes and the judges become more discerning in higher ranks. That's also something I like to call overconfidence, lady. I think up here, I could change the Pikachu about that, but I'm not gonna do that. I may consider going back into doing some more contests. Maybe I'll show off the beauty, cute, smartness, or I guess it's clever, and tough. See, take a look. This is my precious Meryl. It's like it's smooth and plushy. 
You, if you two have a marrow with you, you can pet it. It's slick and smooth and plush for as much as you want. This place right here! The Maniac's house! I'm the Pokemon Move Maniac! I know every move Pokemon that can learn leveling up, and I teach them how to your Pokemon. So, oh, right! Move Tutor! Um, if you have a hard scale, he can actually reteach a Pokemon a past move. There is a time later on where we can actually find him playing these things later on, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. But right now, welcome to Route Room 14! Fossil Maniac's house. This is the house that we want to be in. Big Brother is a fossil maniac. He's a nice guy who loves fossils. Those digging holes too. He dug this hole by himself. You can have this, so you can dig holes just like my big brother. TM28 dig. That is, I believe, a physically offensive ground type move that prevents it being hit, but it does take double the damage when hit by moves like earthquake and magnitude. When you're in a cave, if you have a Pokemon you use dig, you'll be back at the entrance in no time. Oh, right, that's it. Another mechanic on that. I believe in this cave. Yes, there's this guy. I'm the fossil maniac. I'm a nice guy who loves fossils. Do you ever want a fossil? But the fossils around here are, are all belong to me. None for you. If you can't go without a fossil, try the desert on Route 111. When I heard the fossils buried in the sand sometimes rise to the surface due to sandstorms. That is actually something that we're going to be seeing in a little bit later. We have a time when we can get one. But not for a while. So anyway. All my Pokemon does is roar. No one dares to come near me. <sighs> if you would, please take this team away. Team of five, roar. This may have a chance of possibly fleeing a battle. Or switching a Pokemon now. Put two as partners. So we're all going to take care of this fisherman. We have five new Pokemon that we can find out here on Route Route 14. All right, Claude. Let's see how you can face up. First up is Swablu. Swablu! I think it's a kind of an underappreciated Pokemon. It starts off as a normal flying type, but it soon becomes a dragon flying type. Honestly, you could do worse with this thing. I recommend this over Taylor personally because the reason why you want this is because I kind of like a Pokemon that has a much better type than just a regular normal flying types. I'm not saying that it's bad, I'm just saying it has overused. Next up, we're finding Omega Ruby is Nuzly. Nuzly! The evolution of C-Dot becomes a part dark type, and while it now lacks in some defense over C-Dot, it makes it up with its new type, which means it gains a couple of resistance. And how it can actually start learning some new moves that are much better than before. You could do worse with this. If you still want to have a really good Sun Summon on your team, this thing is a monster. We have no ways of getting a Leaf Stone yet, but if you can get by all that, great Pokemon. Alpha Sapphire, on the other hand, is Lombre. Lombre! The evolution of, of course, uh, Lotad. I could have covered this one from before, but the main reason why I didn't is because we couldn't find this Pokemon out in the wild, but I guess we probably could have done it either way. But. Um, this is the point center for when we can actually get some better water and grass type moves. Big thing that I want to quickly talk about. Be absolute sure that you can get the moves that you want, because this evolution won't learn any moves for leveling up. We do have a chance of getting a water stone later on, so just a bit of a, a bit of a downside onto that one. Now an Omega Ruby, Zangoose! Zangoose is a beast! It is a literal beast! It doesn't evolve, and with stats like that, you can tell that this thing is really good for what it does. It comes naturally with immunity. Which is a, an ability that used to be a signature ability that prevents it from getting poisoned. This it hurts. I like this thing, but damn, it does a hit hard. Alpha Sapphire is his main enemy, and that is 
Seviper! Seviper! Pure poison type, shed skin, great physical and offensive stats, and it can even learn Poison Fang and Poison Tail naturally. Poison Fang is a really good move because it'll badly poison the Pokemon rather than just regular poison. If you want one, by all means, it is right here. But it's only an Alpha Sapphire. That's the only real negative that I can say about it. Alright! I got a much of the better bios in the past. Oh well. Oh, Mega Drain. Okay. I have no idea why you would do that. But. Oh, I'll twist around, I guess. Alright. Oh, crud. There we go. Alright, Boo's us at level 26. Maybe I probably should have healed up when I had the chance, but oh well. I ain't picky. I'm going to one of my Linoons out there. Give them a chance to shine. Alright. There we go. This should do it. There we go. The news are level 27. Getting high up in the levels. Bestow. I'm much kind of curious. Yuta passes his held item to the target, and the target isn't holding an item. That definitely sounds like something that we would see normally in double battles. But I'm not gonna do that. What an amazing way of battling! What, what an amazing way- Oh wow, you're saying the exact same thing, so wow, you guys are sharing the brain. Is, is it true that when you have- when, when it comes to twins, now... You guys can call me on this one if I'm incorrect, but... Do twins they usually share brains enough for when they have these kind of conversations? Because I know I don't have a twin, but I've always been led to assume him that it was like that. For when they kind of share a brain and they're kind of the exact same person. I know they're different people in terms of personality wise, but I've always wondered if that was the case if they've always been one of those people that shares brains. Because if not, then. I should probably stop talking for a while I'm having the chance. Huh? Yes. Okay. Let's get on our rad ride and let's see if we what more of this place has in store for us. Um, over here we have a waterfall. We have no ways of climbing that, and we won't be getting that for quite a while. But if we come over here. Oh, Derek! I'm so sorry, it, it, it is so clustered. When I get engrossed in research, things end up this way. This is bad, so please keep this as a secret in exchange for this. We get a low tad doll. Goodness. We're gonna box it in the PC more efficiently. Should we be able to help you organize your box? Personally, I don't really care for it that much, though. Oh! I'm on top of something. A revive! Very nice! We have a few locations from over there that we can't explore yet because we're lacking an HM for that, but we'll be getting that quite a while and I'm just gonna come out and say this. We're gonna be seeing plenty of that later on. Has some uh, aspect berries that restores a Pokemon from frozen. I'll check that in a second.
Oh, yeah, right. So I'm gonna go check that in a second. Doing it right now. Yep, frozen. So this is imagine. This is one of the things that I imagine on the top of my head. A Carbos! Another drug. And you know what? Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, that's just a one. You have this guy! <laughs> what about I guess my Pokemon? Mirto! Steve! And you have an R on. Alright. And I have a really bad choice of Pokemon. Oh! I didn't realize! Leno is holding an item! I wanna check that. Oh no, you're using rock tomb. Oh no, you're just lowering my speed. <laughs> no. Just kidding. Shit. Okay. Kind of a pointless thing to do, but okay. I'll just. Cut you a break. I gave him a really bad pony fade if I'm at. Bolt is level 29. Ooh! Nuzzle! That is, I believe, a physically on offensive electric type move. It leads to target with a paralysis. Guarantees! Nuzzle's its electrified cheeks against the target. Also leaves the target with paralysis. You know what? I could guarantee a paralysis, but Spark is more powerful. And electric and Pikachu's already fast as it is, so Electro Ball does benefit it from it naturally. I'll probably think about it that a little bit later. Maybe for contest wise, but. Ugh. Come on! Oh, wah, 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 wah. Fuck you again. Big buddy, that's all lumpy and hard, enormous horns, and vicious fangs. Wish I had a Pokemon like that. Keep your fetishes to yourself, buddy. Ugh. Let's go through here. Probably run to a cheer on the way, or not. What do we got? A protein! That is a. a Drawing that will boost the attack stat of the IV of the Pokemon. That'd have been a good. Oh, yeah, right. You guys are. We were taking the professor. Hey, wait up! And now both of you are holding items. Rare candy! Okay, that's a rare one. Um, oh, I'm not complaining about it, mind you. What do we got in this crater? Comet shard. That is a selling item that I think that'll give you for. I kind of was. I don't know. Ribbo, Ribbo. That I think it sells for five thousand. Which is a fighting item. Some good items uh, left and right. Energy powder. I believe this is kind of like a full heal. Let me look at that real quick. Okay, no, it's basically a super potion, but a trade-off for this is that it'll make the Pokemon like you less. If you have a Pokemon that specializes in high friendships, you don't want that. If you're lighting a campfire setting off fireworks, make sure you have watery hands. Or water handy. I guess having watery hands sounds pretty good. Alright, Bernie. You know what? I'm feeling pretty confident in this. You might have flame body, but I have good confidence. Ow way! You know, I'm actually kinda of surprised you didn't burn. 
Oh, maybe you may have magma armor for the ability. Yep, I think you may have magma armor. Wingo. Okay. You know, for being actually, never mind. You just I was about to say for being a fire user, you really have a really bad choice of Pokemon. But I didn't realize what I just said until just now. Thanks for dousing my fire, I guess. You know, you could always just have Winkle do it. Another item! An escape rope! Yeah! Switch the team around a little bit. So, consciously, I keep thinking there's like a hidden item that's gonna be around here. That guy's not important. A massive crater right here. But nothing? Really? I guess you're kind of required. Yodele! It's a Yodele! Me too! Since it doesn't echo here. Buddy. I like you! <laughs> okay. Also, again, what is it with me having bad shows of Pokemon? But you know what? No. Time advantages don't mean everything. I shot my fire fight from tell you. Shit. Also, ha! Joke's on you! You're the very first Pokemon to be sent down, because that does more damage when a fallen comrade happens in the turn before that. <laughs> Again, I like you, but tone it down. Meteor Falls, Russellboro City through here. Um, honestly, I kind of want to save that for later because I have no idea for how much of that's going to be going for. And we actually have a little bit of a upcoming boss fight that's going to be it's going to be in there, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and um yeah I'll cut it here. Uh, we had we made some pretty good progress. We've managed to rough 114. We're running Anderson Meteor Falls. We've had some very hey, good, straightforward use of bios and been all very successful. Next time on Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, we're gonna be heading into Meteor Falls and see if we're with Professor Cosmo is that all right? See you guys then.